Hi, I'm Jer. Welcome to Kill Devil, where we focus on rum and cocktails. Today, we are going to make the Rum Bloody Mary, more properly and less frequently known as the Cubanita. If you're new, welcome. If you're old, welcome back. In either case, don't forget to like this video if you enjoy what you're seeing, and subscribe, turn on notifications so you don't miss out on the next thing I make. If you just want the recipe, timestamps are, as always, are down below in the, in the description box. If you want to listen to me talk, here's me talking. Cubanita is a variant on the Bloody Mary that uses rum instead of vodka. Good choice in my, in my opinion. There's not a lot of history on the Cubanita. We don't know when somebody first switched out the spirits. But we do know a little bit, well we think we know a little bit about the Bloody Mary. The Bloody Mary was created in 1921 by a French bartender named, and I'm going to butcher this name, Fernand Petois, often known as Pete. He, as, he worked at the New York bar in Paris. The name of the Bloody Mary, one of the stories suggests, was, came about when one of the patrons said, hey, that reminds me of my girlfriend, and his girlfriend was a dancer named Mary who worked at a cabaret called the Bucket of Blood, Bloody Mary. A lot of this is, is un, unverifiable. Um, we just have these stories, and this is the most common one, though there are others. Today, I'm going to make a, a Cubanita from scratch. Normally, I like to pre-make my mixes. I actually have a video on how to make a Cubanita mix. Uh, check for the links down below in the description. You can also buy Bloody Mary mix at various locations. If I can't make my own, then I sometimes use Zing Zang because I like the can size. I, this way I can just open one and not have to worry about a whole body of Bloody Mary mix. Um, but you do what you need to do. If you want to make your own, make your own. There's hundreds of recipes online. You can use mine, again, description, if you want the link buy it canned, or make it from scratch like we're going to do now. When coming up with this recipe, I looked through dozens of recipes online, trying to find the common ingredients that go into a Bloody Mary, or in my case, a Cubanita. Recipes for Cubanitas really don't exist, even with my Google skills. So, Bloody Mary, Bloody Marys it was. The number one ingredient, and it has to be in there in order to be a Cubanita, is the tomato juice. Beyond that, there are some very common ingredients, celery of some sort, citrus, either lemon juice or lime juice, horseradish, Worcestershire sauce, pepper, salt, and Tabasco. A note on the rum. You don't have to be very picky when you pick a rum for this drink. Usually I go with a white rum of some sort, usually something cheap, what Trader Joe's Rum of the God is my go-to. Um, just note that if you try a spiced rum, it is no longer Cubanita. At that point, it becomes a bloody pirate. Enough talking, let's make the drink. First things first, the rum. Two ounces of rum, which is 60 milliliters. Let's put that in the shaker. Next, four ounces of tomato juice. And I do make my own tomato juice. Again, there is a uh, link to my video in the description if you want to check that out. Otherwise, buy your own, make your own, look recipes up online. Four ounces, which is 120 milliliters of tomato juice. Next, citrus. I've got lemon juice. Normally I use lime juice, but I have lemon, so I'm going to use that. And I'm going to put in one teaspoon of fresh squeezed lemon juice. Salt and pepper. A pinch, two pinches of salt, which is going to be two, like that, whatever you call those, and four of pepper. Celery salt. Four shakes of that. Wor Worcestershire sauce. I don't know if I said it the same way this time or not. I'm going to put in half of a teaspoon of that, and I'll look up the metrics in a moment. Give that a quick rinse. Horseradish sauce. Not everyone likes horseradish. I do, so I'm going to put it in. Let's see. 
And I'm going to put in one teaspoon of that. And finally, Tabasco. You can use other hot sauces. Most recipes did specify Tabasco. I'm going to put in two dashes of that. More if you like, less if you like. Okay, a couple of ice cubes in the shaker. And shake. All right, here we go. Now, I have my fancy Cubanita glass. Uh, I don't know if you can see the skull from there. This is a gift from my friend Lisa. I love these glasses, especially for Cubanitas. I'm going to put a couple of ice cubes in there. Then I'm going to pour this on top. Um, you can double strain if you want to get all the floaty bits out. Personally, I like the floaty bits. But again, do what you like. Now, notice that there's some room at the top there. That's the room for the garnishes. Very traditional is celery. Personally, I don't like celery, so I wouldn't put it in here for myself. But some people do, and it's traditional, so celery stock. What I do like in there are pickles. So I'm going to put a pickle in for a garnish. I also like olives, so I'm going to put some olives in there for a garnish. And finally, last but not least, we have my cheese stick. And it gets a little complicated, but it's a perfect, I think, happy hour drink. You've got a little bit of food, you've got a little bit of pleasure, and you have a straw to drink it with. And there you have it, Cubanita, from scratch, drink with good spirits.